This is the scene right now as Hurricane George continues battering Okaloosa Island. Now, obviously, there is going to be some beach erosion from this storm, but that's not the only damage. As if we can go ahead and turn the camera around this way and let's show you what's happening here. Following Hurricane Opal, about $7,500 was spent to replace sea oats that were lost to that storm three years ago. Well, you can look right now. This is some of the sea oats that were planted, and there's not much left. What you're looking at right now are the remains of Noriego Point. This is it. This is all that remains thanks to Hurricane George. Right now, I'm joined by Okaloosa County Commissioner Ray Sansman. Ray, let's talk about just how dangerous the situation is around the area right now. Well, as you can see, the uh, winds uh, picked up. It's very dangerous out here. We're asking uh, all the people just to stay put where they are, and uh, we've got the uh, road closed on Highway 98 between Brooks Bridge and Destin Bridge right now. So as you can see, the conditions are increasing, and, uh, and so we, um, it's, it's getting kind of dangerous out here. Now, earlier today, we had the reports that all four lanes of Highway 98 were covered by the water. Coming across with you folks right now, it didn't seem as bad. Right, it really hasn't. The uh, water has gone down. Uh, the, the westbound lane is, doesn't have any water on it. The eastbound lane has just a little bit of water, so we're hoping that uh, by tomorrow that we can at least have uh, traffic on the westbound lane going uh, east and west in, in, in each lane. So I hope that that's going to be the best case scenario for us. So the only way to get between Fort Walton Beach and Destin is traveling across the Mid-Bay Bridge. But even now, authorities are limiting just how many cars are allowed on that span. On Oklahoma Island, Dave Laval, Channel 3 News.